Hey guys, and welcome back to Communist China with me, NG Paradox. We are back, finally. I do apologize for the long break between parts. Recently, I've been sick and then I lost my voice, and I'm back. My voice is not completely recovered. It, it sounds apparently okay over the microphone, which is good to know, but to me it sounds a bit croaky, and also it does mean it hurts a little bit, so... If I don't talk as much, I do apologize, but let's hope I can remember where we left off, because it's been a while, but we have to complete this campaign. It's China versus China. Only one of them can survive, and which is it going to be? Mao Zedong, our leader, or the China leader, um, Li Zhongren. It's very confusing, because when I say China, I actually consider us China, but his country name the actual title is china ours is communist it's very confusing so whenever i say china i always mean this one when i say communist china i mean us even though technically we believe we are china and they're not china they're just a traitor you know it, it's a very confusing situation the two chinas but one of us will come out on top we're still building things up we're infiltrating them and everything hopefully we can get everything to kind of get together Okay, that's done. We're still technically at war. <laughs> still, we're technically at war, but, you know, Austria-Hungary can't really do much right now. They've lost a lot of people, though, actually. The Germans actually haven't lost that many men to them. That's actually kind of interesting. Yeah, wow. I, I really hope Germany can handle them. If they can't, maybe if we defeat China, we can try and get to Germany and help Germany fight Austria and Hungary. Not sure if that's going to be possible. We've got Russia coming in as well. It, it's just a, a massive mess. Germany seems to be pushing back right now. They seem to have been pushed back quite a bit. We've got 20 days until the next one finishes. We will infiltrate every part of China. I want to see how powerful that mechanic is. Are these decisions worth it? Or actually, is it a waste of time? Maybe it would be better to actually just jump in as soon as possible, doing the infiltration. Is it actually just wasting your time and making the Chinese uh, China able to kind of build themselves up? Because remember, usually China's not the strongest, but it's now 1942 and there was no war with Japan. So that's what concerns me. If there had been a war with Japan, I would say we could probably take them on. But because there hasn't been, it, it, it's going to be difficult. What is Japan even doing? Unknown focus. What is Japan doing? Who knows? Apparently we'll not know for now. We've got more factories ready. We do need more of these. Yeah, everything else we're kind of building up. Uh, we need more of these. What else do we need? Do we need do we make some tanks? I'm trying to remember exactly what we were doing last time. I can't. I, I know the basics, but I can't remember exactly what I was planning to do. It would be good to make some tanks, I feel like. But I just don't feel that we actually really have any. Anti-tank, anti-air. We've got a lot of guns. Light tanks, 123. That's quite a lot of tanks, actually. Fighters, uh, tactical bombers. Let's go have a quicker look at this actual one. Yeah, it's got a lot of mechanized, you know, trucks and stuff, but that's it. Maybe put a bit more tanks in here. Maybe we make it like this. That, I mean, ugh, I, d I don't really know about this. I mean, we'd have to put some engineers there as well, you know, to make sure. A uh, maintenance, sorry, maintenance is what we would need. So, I, I mean, I would rather I'd put more tanks down here, but that's going to cost us a lot of tanks. Maybe we can just, maybe we just need a little bit of tanks. You know, something a bit faster than our men. I, I could probably make do with that. I could probably just let that go. Are we actually producing mechanized, uh, motorized? Yeah, we are making motorized. We do have some spare. Maybe, maybe we could actually build some tank units. Let's train some up then. So where should we put it? Let's make that for around our capital. We'll make around the capital. We need to actually be producing some tanks then. Oh yeah, I forgot we have the Great War Tank. Huh. Soviet Union. Please. This is why we couldn't do it, wasn't it? They wouldn't give us the newer tanks. Yeah, that's why I've not been doing it. Okay, let's delete that. <laughs> let's, I'm not constructing those old, you know, Great War tanks. That's, that's not going to help out. 
if once we research some other tanks, we have access to other tanks, maybe we could. Mongolia? Do, do Mongolia have access to, like, better tanks? No. Okay. The British? Will the British help me out here? Central Security Bureau. Quit India movement. Indians call for independence has intensified lately. Now things have come to head as the radical quit India movement has called for the United Kingdom to leave the country as soon as possible. Yet another doomed attempt at freedom. Okay, what do we want to go for next? I would love to get the People's Republic of China. Estimated army strength ratio at 50% or more compared to... And that would be China. Uh, if only we had 50% or more. I'm assuming that's what it would be. Hmm. We'll see. Um, but hopefully we can get... We've got the factories and stuff. I could get the next one of that. We could get the volunteer army. But I don't think we specifically need that. Soviet designers, elite mountaineers. This is all to make things a bit cheaper and stuff. But nothing really useful, yeah. And we can't get aid from anyone else. Okay, let's go for the extra research slot. We'll just go for that for now. Um, oh, I completely forgot about this, didn't I? Okay, infiltrations. We've got two left, it looks like. We'll go for Xi'an. Let's get Xi'an. Oh yeah, I was going to look for people to give us some stuff. Let's have a quick look. Nope, no licensing from them. Iran. Does anyone have a tank? Anyone? In Japan, even? No, they don't want to give us any license agreements. I guess because I'm, I'm communist. Who's communist? Siam. United Kingdom. France. Um, Spain. Spain. You going to help? Nope. Fran uh, Spain would not help us. Yugoslavia. Legionnaires. Bulgaria. They're not going to help me either. Legionnaire Romania against this Poland and the Soviet Union. They're trying to help fight them back. Is it going to be able to be done? I can't see many communist nations. Where are all the communist states? Um, let's go to diplomacy. Communists. There's, yeah, there's Korea. That's a good point. Korea actually might have some, and Paraguay, of course. Korea might actually have some stuff. They don't have tanks. Okay, fine. Korea doesn't have tanks, apparently. If only they'd have joined me, please. If only they would join me. We're so close. We got the guarantee there. Um, anything else I could do? Request lend lease, boost party popularity. No, none of that's really going to help, is it? Okay, let's go to Paraguay. You know, Paraguay. You know, you never know. They may have some tanks that we could, uh, we could use. Let's see. No tanks from them. Fine. Fine, Paraguay. No one's got Toge. So no no tanks to use against the Chinese. We're just going to just make do with raw manpower. That's the China way, isn't it? You know, just massive and massive amounts of manpower. We've got 11 million men, women, and children, possibly, waiting to fight. Probably, probably not children or women, but probably just the men. But you never know. You never know. They might still be useful. But let's make these down a bit. Let's make the guns down. Let's make a few more of these. There we go. That's fine. Yeah, all of it's good. None of the factories are broken. We got our dockyards making convoys. We got quite a few convoys these days. How about we stop making these? We stop making that. We got new guns as well. Uh, the PPSH. We'll start building that up as well. Um, for docks, let's actually... Uh, there's nothing else we can build. Okay, fine. <laughs> there is nothing else to eat. I told you, it's, it's been a while since I've uh, continued this uh, campaign. So I need to remember what exactly we're doing. Infantry, anti-tank stuff. Let's get that done. Okay, we're going to need a lot more of those new guns. We're going to need to upgrade every man, woman, and child once again. To get the proper equipment. But we've still got lots of guns overall. This will take 25 days, so it's a new year, 1943, um, so just 25 more days, the end of the month, basically, end of January, we'll get the next one. 
And as soon as we're ready, we've got all the infiltration done. All of China will have communist uprisings ready and waiting to rise up for the leader of Mao Zedong. But what do we want to get? Air, maybe? Um, all adults serve. I, I probably will regret that I probably should have not done that as quickly as I did. We probably wanted to keep the factories going, possibly. That was probably my fault. Total mobilization. I think this is actually the top, isn't it? Yeah. We'll keep it at that. Refining concern. Industrial. How about we go... Well, I can't do some of these anyway. I can do that one. Uh, Shandong base area attacked. Enemy forces have begun their attack on our base area in Shandong. No messages have been received from our comrades in the state, but the enemy press is reporting the conclusion of the Shandong encirclement and eradication campaign. Oh dear. That's not good. We've suffered a setback. Not good at all. Okay, let's go for some decryption. Let's go find out what the Chinese, uh, the Japanese and stuff are doing. Um, we're going to modify some stuff here. Industrial. We can do all of these, actually, apart from this one. Let's go for industrial for now. Free civilian factories. How about, do we want more military factories? Do you want more um, things for, like, gun, like anti-air, possibly? Could be useful infrastructure. Land forts, possibly. More civilian factories could be good, possibly. Let's make a few more of these. So we could build more. There's not much room, so let's build these up here. Let's go build some more civilian factories. We can then just build more, maybe some forts and stuff. Uh, yeah. Not think We're not really making any more soldiers, are we? And that's what's concerning me. What are they missing? Are they just missing the support equipment? Why is this taking so long? I'm trying to figure out why these are not working. Let's have a quick look. None of equipment, anti-air, artillery support. No support equipment at all. Because we're st are we still giving support equipment to all the other guys, possibly? Yep, zero. Okay, so support equipment, we should be completely just concentrating on this. So let's start getting these down. We've got too many of these because we've just been waiting for more support equipment. Just put this up. Yeah, we got too many of these because we've just been doing that. So, one, oh, two, done. Free military factory. Okay, we'll just do uh, that's done then. Okay, we finally got. Okay, now we've got some people ready and waiting. Let's throw them in. There we go. Hopefully, we'll start getting some more men. Um, we added. How about we add a unit? So at least these guys can train. It's all about support equipment. That's all. Yeah, so let's just get that. Let's get concentrating on that. Just support equipment. I still need to be making guns because we do want more men all the time. Um, how many how many anti-air and anti-tanks do they actually use? Let's go have a quick look because we've got quite a lot of them. Yeah, they lose so little. They don't need that many, so... Just put that there, and then put this up. Just make a ton of this. Yeah. Put that down there, and just concentrate on support equipment. Uh, we got new research that we can do as well. How about it? How about it? Nope, there's still more things we need to research for the fight. I'm sorry. It would be hilarious. It would be great, but we need more things for the fight. I could improve our artillery. And the anti-air as well. Let's go for that one then. We got lots of things we need to be researching. With this done, we can't get this. We can't get that. There's so many things I can't get. Let's just go for the volunteer one then. Duh. We'll just go for that then. We'll just go for that for now. More men are ready. So there we go. Now we started concentrating on that. We're starting to build people. Give them to our new Russian commander. He's come all the way from the Soviet Union. We've got to give him some action at some point. And that should be done. Yeah, Shandong had a setback. It's going to take even longer now. It takes so long. That's, I mean, uh, is it worth doing all of these? I feel like we have to just because China has so many. He has so many men. I only, I only have like 50. <laughs> Shandong base area attacked. 
Maybe this is a sign that they're starting to fight back. Army reform. What is Japan doing? We don't know. More military stuff. There we go. That's done. We should probably go have a quick look in Europe as well. Again, apologize if I sound slightly off. It's just because I'm, you know, still recovering. If I sound okay, though, that's great. Hopefully I do. Germany, still holding on. I don't, I don't know what it is about Germany. They just can't be beaten down. Himmler is he's just never going to give up. You know, Himmler's just, he's not a giver-upper, apparently. Invite to our faction. Join us. <laughs> Got China and Hitler together. Ugh. Who would think of that combination? Don't think I've ever seen that happen either on the game, which makes sense. It's annoying that Korea is the same color as Japan. I do find that kind of odd. Why would they make them the same color? We have a war, yeah. World tension. The world tension's only at 62% as well. If only it was higher, they'd probably join. Actually, that's a good point. If world tension was higher, they would probably join. If we declare war on China, they probably would join because of the world tension. But they do not have many men, so they wouldn't really be a big use to us. But it would be just nice to have some people in our block, you know, on our side. Maybe we could try and just get, like, Nepal uh, to join. <laughs> just get Nepal. They got three of the five people. Three people. Ooh. What about Afghanistan these days? Afghanistan's not actually in a faction. How about we start trying to influence them? It could be could be useful. How about we start boosting party popularity? You know, might as well. We connect to them here. We might as well just try and influence Afghanistan. Wh who knows if it could be useful? Maybe even Iran, possibly. That they all might just join the Soviet Union, but that could be good for us because the Soviet Union, I don't think, is going to attack me. How many men do you have? They actually could be useful. Let's do it then. Let's go. We're starting to influence the Middle East. We're going to get the Middle East to join us. We've got Siam down south, possibly. How about them as well? Okay, so we're going to start influencing Siam, some of the more bigger areas, you know, Nepal and uh, Bhutan. They're just, they're just too small. They're not going to make a big difference here. We don't care. We could crush them beneath our fingers if we needed to, so... Not particularly worried about them. 19 more days. So what will happen? Elite divisions there. Uh, Beijing becomes controller of Beijing. Communist elite divisions will appear in the state. Infrastructure in Xi'an. Yeah. We want to get those elite troops. That's what we need. And we can see 100% equipment. There we go. So we've got 100% equipment. There we go. Look at this. Make all the divisions. There we go. Make all the divisions now. Train as many men as possible. We're going to get them all out. Definitely. Okay, so there we go. We can start actually building our armies up. I like it. Infiltrate Japan. Provoke Japan. These sounds like terrible ideas. Uh, we're at 90% unity, stability. Women in the workforce. Launch 100 regiments of the offense for 180 days. Division attack on core territory. That'll be great once we go to war against China. United Kingdom announces Balkan diplomatic initiative. Yeah. What'd that do? Communism supports. Yeah. Yeah. Five days. All right, five days. The 9th of April. We just need men, 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 men. That's what we want. I think we're going to get that. As long as we just keep producing what we should be producing, just more support equipment, we should be fine. I'm on the 8th of April. And there we go. So, oh, no. There we go. Go for Xi'an again. It's going to... 1944, maybe, the war will begin. i have just wait and see. I'll see if the world tension can increase. Maybe we can get more people to join us. Germany is being held off, that they're still holding on. The Soviet Union can't make it through Poland and its allies. They just can't do it. It's too much. 
And of course, the allies are against them as well. People's Volunteer Army. Let's see. Can't get that. We can, though, get the 4th Academy of Sciences. So another research slot. There we go. That will help out quite a bit. Bulga Whose side are you on, Bulgaria, again? Oh, yes. The Roman one. The new Italian one. What a mess. You've got so many factions here in Europe these days. Italy at war with the Allies and the Germans, but not the French, of course. It's a very confusing state of affairs here. You've got these guys, you've got these two, you've got the Allies trying to fight them off, the Comintern, Spain's not taking side, Netherlands, Belgium not taking sides. Scandinavia as well. Switzerland, of course, being Switzerland, Greece, Turkey. But the Allies have basically got most of Africa. Yeah. And, of course, they've got India. They don't actually touch here. Interesting, they just don't touch. The Soviet Union and the British Raj, it just doesn't touch. It's almost there, but it doesn't quite make it. Let's jump back in. How is... Okay. Infantry anti-tank stuff. How close are we now? Still the same percent. It's still not getting anywhere closer. Let's go for support weapons. Let's get... Let's make sure our infantry, our front lines, have everything they could help. Like, give them any slight advantage in this coming battle. I say, I need to prepare properly. It's, it's the big one, you know? We need to get Nanjing... And Beijing as quickly as possible. Beijing won't be too difficult. Uh, Chongqing won't be too hard either, hopefully. We could probably make a breakthrough at some point. There are a lot of men, obviously, here. Improved anti-air. We'll go for now improved artillery. Let's go for that. Got Chengdu over here. Nothing up here is really going to help. I have war goal on uh, yeah, China. That's it. I could declare war whenever I want. Whenever I want to. But now is not the time. They're allies with British Malaya. Yeah. And actually, that them and the Dutch East Indies are currently their puppets. So, you know... The uh, Democratic Japan, you know, is doing okay. They're getting lots of uh, places over here in Indonesia. They got a lot of power down here just through diplomatic means. They took the land from France. They got their kind of uh, vassals down here. Australia, though, apparently not. They didn't want Australia or Britain wouldn't give up Australia. Don't know which one it is. They're fighting them all as well. How's New Zealand? Democratic. British Raj, how are you guys doing these days? Looking fine. What's your position? It's a colony. You need 726. A lot more. Okay, now we got that. We could go for atomic research. That would definitely... Then again, we have no planes. That would be a point. We have so little. It's so weird going from like other nations than playing China. We have such little research. Really. Let's go for assembly line production. Make sure we're just churning things out. Training the men is the biggest problem we have at the moment, but that shouldn't take too long. 12 days. Do we have these at 100? Yes, we do. Train more. 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 Give me more. I need more. Oh, my. Okay. We're... This is becoming quite a bit. Let's leave it at that for now. That feels that feels enough. I think we could probably get to a hundred men in not that long a time. Actually, it just depends how long it's going to take to train them all. We could probably get them very quickly. So you know, thirteen million manpower. How much does China have? China. I need at least a hundred men. I do. I really do. I need at least a hundred men. And because this infiltration is taking quite a long time. We might actually be able to do it. We might actually have a chance. They have more manpower than we do. That's not good. Yeah. And if I can get 50% of their man 
power that will not mount the army. So if I get like a hundred, I could probably make the People's Republic of China. Okay, we've done that now. We'll go for Henan. Now, why she does that give me? If I did do that, what does it actually give me? I, I just change name. That's it. I gain nothing for that. N not even anything better. Okay, fine. Just, just the name. I guess we can go for this then. Construction speeds. Refinery. Construction speed. Infrastructure. Removes recovery from the long march. Okay, that that's probably kind of useful. Um, recovery from the long march. Factory output. Minus 10%. Okay, you know what? Probably could be useful. They'd probably want that before we go to war. They'll add then again, if you're United China and you've got all that, that'll be really good because you're going to be able to just throw out factories, throw out production. It'll be pretty good if you had all that. Okay, we got this then. Let's go for the last one. Recovery rate, out of supply, effect of our partisans. Let's go. Let's get the last one there, and we've got the whole thing done. Sorry if it's a bit, um, shall we say, laggy today. The frames aren't great today because um, for some reason it just... India! We have India versus free India. Okay, we're going to... Hmm, we'll, we'll have a look at that in a second. But we only have a choice between... Yeah, these two. Heavy weapons. Artillery... That could be good. Okay, let's go down here. Hire Soviet designers. Soviet designers will help us. We've got India over here. So this is India, the one that we know, kind of Lord Linlithgow. He's uh, with the Allies. And we have Free India, who is an Axis group. But it's very divided. It's actually mostly... Okay, they're mostly democratic. But to fight the English, they've sided with Himmler. Oh my... India, what have you done? You sided with Himmler for your freedom? <sighs> Gandhi was right. Okay, you just should have gone through a different way. Uh, Subhas Chandra Bose. Okay, how many men? Three. <laughs> oh, no. India, what have you done? Okay, actually, no, wait. British Raj doesn't have much either. If we attack evil, we're just bringing ourselves into more war. So I, I can't afford to really attack either of these. So we're not gonna, we're not gonna take advantage of this. Yeah, we're not gonna. I, I could take advantage, you know. Imagine eating India. Hmm. But it's just not gonna work out. We'll see how things go, and we'll see what we could do maybe later. Are we going for new technology? You know what? If we get the construction speed stuff up, nukes it is. China is going for nukes. You know, we got we got lots of research slots these days. Might as well use them. Might as well. And we have a chance even to get another one later, I think, as well. So, yeah. Hmm. Interesting indeed. That did not help world tension much. Only 1%. So, it didn't really affect the Democratic People's Republic of uh, Korea. Kim Il-sung. Air production. You could probably have guessed from the picture, to be honest. That that probably would have given it away. Military academies. What is this? Modify the government. We can only pick two here, really. I guess planes, air safety. Um, air superiority, we can't get that. Ground support. I, I mean... Fang Ziyi. I mean, we're not making planes. Do we actually have anything... We do have a few fighters and bombers. <laughs> we do have a few. Maybe I should just make some. They're so bad. We need, we need to research more. Yeah, if we do... Okay, let's, let's research planes. No tanks. Or maybe I could just get them from the Soviets. Will you give me some planes, Stalin? Stalin, give me some planes. Fighters. Yes. Okay. Now, we need some strategic bombers, don't we? Yeah, strategic, he would give us that. Now, I'm not sure the exact difference between these. So that upsets me. 
I feel like the bottom one would be the best. Just because the first one's always like the, the worst one. So we'll go for that. And how about we get a fighter? Fighter 2. No, they won't give us Fighter 2. They'll give us that. Okay. Let's go for that. <coughs> we'll get that from the Soviet Union. And I guess we'll start producing some planes. Um, yeah. <laughs> Strategic bombers. And how about we produce... I mean, is that the same as the one that we have? It can't be, is it? Just want to make sure. I mean, it's hard to tell. It just says Fighter 1. So I don't really know which one it is. I hate this thing sometimes. We're definitely going to go research these ourselves, I feel like. Yeah. Well, let's not do that one, then. Do a Fighter. Instead. Let's just make any Fighter. Whatever. And if we can, we'll get more. Let's put you down, because we're making a ridiculous amount of these now. Is that enough? No, a few more. There we go. We'll make some of these. We're going to make more fighters. Then once we have strategic bombers ourselves, we'll make some more for ourselves. Soviet Union, give me some of this. We need more rubber from Siam. Perfect. And, yeah, we're getting that. No, we're not getting this. Okay. No, it is done. Okay, perfect. So that's done. So we're going to make some more fighters. <laughs> oh, dear. Am I making a mistake? Am I making a mistake right now? 28 days for that to be done. A lot more men being trained up, but it's just taking so long for them to train. Another. Oh, I shouldn't have clicked that. Didn't mean to do that. Just add a unit, add a unit. Just, you know what? Just keep adding them. Keep adding. Go. Just until until the end of time. More men. More men. How many guns actually do we have spare? Okay, eight. Okay, I need to slow down. I need to slow down. We need to get ready for the, uh, the kind of infiltration, etc. Got a lot more being made now. Here we go. Okay, that, that's what we got right now. Okay, so he's got eight in his group now. But it's coming along. It's coming along. It's going to be a long and just building journey. But this is our goal. Our goal was to take the whole of China. We're almost there. We're one step away. Maybe we won't get even... Maybe we won't take over China and India. But at least if we get China, that's what I want. You know, first time playing Communist China, getting the whole of China. I'll be very happy with that. But, nothing else is really happening. Free India does seem to be winning the war. In Europe, everything is just staying the same. You're a bit back and forth on the border here. But yeah, really just such a stand? Who would think this would be such a standstill? Then again, I guess that that's really what happened in like World War I. And in World War II a lot, so... Actually, it's kind of realistic. It's probably actually very realistic. So we'll head back to our lands. One more day. Okay. So, Henan again. We've got two more places left. Two more places. So we got that done. Let's go for the planes then. We want the strategic bomber. Let's just get it ourselves. Let's get it ourselves. Do what we want. Okay, that's done. They haven't lost that many more, actually. Have they even been fighting? Have Austria and Hungary actually been fighting? It feels like they've hardly lost any men since uh, before. Huh. That's fine. 14 million manpower. We got all these all these guys are waiting to just finish their training. I mean I could just throw them out, but I want them to finish their training. I know I can. 
I keep, no, no, stop, stop, stop it, NG. Stop it. You need these guns. You need these guns for all of the infiltration. Stop it. In fact, delete some. Don't be dumb. You need these for infiltration. Stop it. <laughs> I need to stop myself because I'm just going to keep using these guns. So we've got more of these being built. You could probably make less of these now. We just, we've been making too many probably. Uh, Xi'an base uh, under attack. Henan base area attacked. Oh, they're coming for me, aren't they? They know what they're doing, China. Unfulfilled imports. Rubber. Okay. What's going on with the rubber? Sam? That was here. What's going on with this rubber? British Malay. What is this? I'm not trusting you then. Get away. Let's go to British Malay. No. I can't get any from them. Okay. Free India? No. No, that won't work. Nope. Stay of Japan? Nope. Japan doesn't like us either. What? I need to wait for this to cancel and then I can do it. There we go. Okay, British Malay. Give me what I need. There we go. That should be done. Perfect. Okay, just making sure. Four's going crazy just then, but we're fine. Japan, how are you? Air production. Hire Soviet designers. Support weapons. Okay, we've got support weapons. Um, it's now 1943. Let's get the infantry anti-tank 2. Let's get that out of the way. Now for this, we can get the Joint Tank Development. Ooh, that's nice. Nothing else? Huh? No, okay, we can't get that. I just want that. I want to call myself the People's Republic of China. Then I guess we could just go for training, make our men finish, yeah, and then we could go for it. Uh, I guess. 35 days for that to be done. I want to try out this new feature. I want to see how this feature works, you know? It was, it's a new thing. I want to see what it can do. I want to see if it's worth the time and effort we put in. It's taken ages to get this done, you know? It's been at least two years, I feel like, since we ate all the other places. I feel like it's been two years. I feel like we deserve for this to be useful. <laughs> It'll probably end up not... I mean, I mean, I'm assuming that the land flips to me. It sounds like if you get up to the highest and you get troops, it sounds like it. So, for example, uh, Jiangsu becomes controller of Jiangsu. I, I, Jiangsu, does that mean Jiangsu becomes its own place? And becomes the controller of Jiangsu? Communist elite divisions will appear in the state, so I'm assuming we get it. I'm assuming it flips to me, and we get troops there. That's what I assume happens, but it's not completely clear. Uh, we just need Xi'an, really, to be done as well. And Henan and Shandong. As long as you got Beijing. Beijing's the big one. But I say, I need like 100 men anyway. So once all these divisions are trained, that will be good. I'll feel better then. Once all these divisions are trained. But we're going to end this part here, guys. I know not much has happened here, but I just wanted to bring us back to communist trying to get you guys to remember what was happening. I do apologize for the long gap. Like I say, I have been sick and stuff. But hopefully next time we can continue our growth as a nation. Our army is being built up. And we're getting a lot, a lot of technology. So who knows what could happen. And India. What's going to happen with India here? We'll have to wait and see. But yes, guys, I'll see you soon. I've been NG. And good night.